Hello, I'm Paramax. Today I'm just going to be here documenting a weird issue I've been having with a quadcopter in the past. Now as it turns out, I just had to reprogram the flight controller for a faster startup time. But I've reset it to defaults for the demonstration, and here's what happens. You'll notice that sometimes when I rev up the motor just a little bit, it'll actually start glitching out. Of course, it's really hard to recreate on camera. You'll see on sometimes when I rev it up, it doesn't start up nicely. Say the quadcopter is making some quick changes to the throttle on this thing, and look what's happening with it. Now you also notice that if I give it a spin in the reverse direction, it's even, the problem is like 10 times worse. Now when I'm actually flying, how this thing might end up spinning in the reverse direction is say that me dumb thumbing it, and I'm scared to death because the thing is flying too high too fast, and I let the throttle down all the way down to zero because I'm a noob, and then the thing starts to free fall just a little bit, and the wind from it free falling causes the propeller to spin backwards just a little bit. And it only takes a little bit for the problem to occur. Yeah, see, there you go. And another way that this might happen is y you notice how it kind of recoils when I give it a spin in either direction? Sometimes it does. Yeah, there we go. It's a little bit of magnetic cogging going on because it's a three-phase motor with the, the several magnets and the several phases, or I mean several poles anyway. So sometimes it spins in one direction, then when, when it stops, it actually kind of does this a little bit, kind of oscillates back and forth before it comes to a complete stop. And so that's why it sometimes glitches up like that with very little, th when I'm just giving it a little bits of throttle at a time. Of course, I can't recreate it that well on camera, but trust me, if I'm trying to fly this thing in the real world, these little tiny problems become amplified when this thing is trying to keep itself level while it's flying, so, yeah. Anyway, just for reference, let me show you another propeller over here that I've changed the settings on to, to basically fix that. Alright, so I've swapped out the ESCs in the way I've had them wired with a specific ESC that has been programmed correctly. Now, of course, I've got the propeller mounted backwards and upside down, so if anything, it's blowing air upwards very inefficiently. But anyway, here's the same thing where I just kind of randomly jitter this thing up and down. You'll notice that it's not stopping and jittering. Like the actual propeller is not stopping and doing some weird stuff like it was before. Oops. And you can also hear it revs up a lot faster too. Now I've changed the startup time to be a much faster, to start up the motor to full speed as fast as possible. And that seems to have fixed the problem. If I give it reverse direction, if I spin the propeller in the reverse direction, I can't get the thing to act up. Now I've tested this much more thoroughly before and for a much longer time. 
So I'm not really going to spend too much time doing this on camera. Because I've already largely pr proven this to myself. But yeah, that's the difference. And it's a big difference too, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to flip back to the uh, red propeller and rewire this thing. Okay, here I've rewired the uh, the old motor again, the one that has the messed up settings for, for when I reset it back to its default settings. And the uh, startup time is slow and delayed, so it goes up to like half a throttle, then full throttle. And uh, I just want to show you how long it takes relative to that previous footage um, to rev up to full speed. Now that took a good second. Oh, you stop that. Kind of using a, a white shirt as a backdrop here. And of course the same problems as I was having before. Yeah, you see it glitching up there? Look at that. Sometimes it completely stops and you can kind of see it doing this. Yeah, that's a problem. 